five, four. Hi everyone, this is Renee Wood with 8 Days Productions and we are filming live in Staten Island, New York at the New York City Art Cipher. We have a very special guest today. I'd like to introduce everyone to Mr. Andrew Reeve. Thank you so much, Andrew, for allowing us to interview you today. No problem, thank you. So, we hear you are a director and you are directing an indie movie titled Park Boulevard, which a lot of the filming is actually being done here on Staten Island. So please, tell our viewers all about Art Boulevard. Sure, Art Boulevard is a uh, family drama, and it's uh, about a grandfather and grandson. And the, uh, so the grandson just dropped out of college, just making a lot of mistakes, and the grandfather needs help in the house. So the grandfather uh, has a grandson move in, and uh, at first there's a lot of conflict, uh, because the grandson is young, you know, here he is with this old guy, you know, what am I gonna do? And, uh, and then the grandfather's like, you know, this kid's kind of a brat, but uh, over time, uh, they create a pretty strong bond, and uh, they start to play chess. And uh, so the grandfather teaches the grandson how to make better decisions in life with the game of chess. And it takes place in uh, on Hart Boulevard in St. Allen. So I mean, you know, it's spelled H-A-R-T, but there's actually a lot of heart in in the movie and the story, you know, itself. So I, I felt like that's the perfect title. So. Uh, what inspired you to do this movie? Uh, well, when I, when I was living there, uh, I mean, it's, it's a long story, but uh, just to make it short, uh, you know, growing up, my, my mom always pushed me to get into the arts. So I took a, an art class at Snuck Harbor and an uh, acting class at College of Stan Allen. And uh, so I've always been very art friendly. And my grandfather always thought I should have been active. So, uh, and, but, you know, everybody sort of was up to their grandparents like their gods, and to me, you know, it kind of was because he, he, he had all his history and said, Alan's a Stark Harbor pilot, and, uh, you know, at 90 years old, I mean, he had a lot of, a lot of interesting stories, and so, um, so I told him I'd make a movie about him, and uh, he sort of laughed about it, but uh, here I am, you know, 10 years later, making a movie about him. So. That's fantastic. So now you are a director and also a writer for this movie, correct? Correct. Uh, I, I created the, the story with a, a friend of mine. Uh, I worked for IATSE Local 52 doing uh, electrical lighting for movies and TV. So you'll find a lot of writers and you know filmmakers in, in that industry. So I told them my story and so we, so we sat down for like three months and sort of tried to figure out a way to best tell that. And uh, so we created the story and then uh, another friend of mine uh, uh, from uh, Boston, Massachusetts, uh, John Lewis, by the way, is my friend. Uh, well, we created a story. John Costello from Massachusetts, uh, Springfield, uh, took a, a year to write the first draft, and uh, so and he did an excellent job. Um, and then, uh, and then we did some revision, some revisions, and uh, and so at first I didn't want to direct it, uh, but uh, a, a colleague slash mentor, Glenn Trotner, who helped me uh, put together the business package, thought that. Uh, that I should direct it because it's my story. So, uh, you know, because I'm not like, you know, I want to be a director, it's not, it's just, this is my story, I, you know, I know it like the back of my hand, it makes sense, I should direct this. And so, uh, so that's, that's why I'm directing. Is this your first movie you've ever directed? I, yeah, I directed a couple of shorts, but, and a short documentary, but it's my first feature. Excellent. Now, is there a website? Are you on Facebook or Twitter? What social media outlets are you on where our viewers can follow you and follow Hart Boulevard? Sure. Uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, the, the website is uh, www.hartboulevard, so H-A-R-T Boulevard.com. And so you know, anybody who's interested in the local project uh, about Staten Allen who, who uh, supports and the movies can, can check it out and find out more information how they can help. Or, just be a part of it. Uh, we are looking for more locations and some uh, you know, background actors. Uh, you know, any way that that, uh, that we can sort of get back. Um, you know, I discovered New York City Art Cipher like uh, just over a year ago, and it's just an amazing place and what what these guys do. And uh, so now it's just like opening up these doors. Um, you know, and Staten Island has so many beautiful locations. I mean, from Old Richmond Town to Snug Harbor to you know Great Hills, and uh, so. Uh, I just want to make this the best film possible, and uh, we'll see what happens after that. But uh, 
Yeah, heartboulevard.com. Excellent. So don't forget www.heartboulevard.com. So we have some questions for you today oh. from our viewers. Okay. And the first one is, what's Heart Boulevard about? Okay. Uh, all right. So it's uh, it's about it's about family. It's about a grandson who is trying to redeem himself, and so. He's living with his grandfather about a year now, um, but his girlfriend, uh, who we met along the way, pushes him to uh, reunite the family because there's been some conflict because uh, you know, the, uh, the grandfather was pretty uh, strict with his kids. And so, uh, they, so the, the grandson sees this as an opportunity to bring the family together after Christmas, uh, especially now that uh, you know, the grandmother passed uh, uh, years ago. So, you know, the family's sort of been intrigued ever since. So, um, so it's about a grandson redeeming himself, getting a job, meeting a girl, trying to be a good person, and bring the, bring the family back together for Christmas. And, uh, and the, the grandfather's trying to redeem himself by uh, resolving uh, his issues with his kids. And just, just he wants them to, you know, be like, okay, you know, you're a good person, or, you know, at least you tried or something. So, we'll it's see. a very interesting concept because it's kind of seldom that you see too many movies that are depicted on a grandson and the grandfather. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. There's, there's been movies where it's it's about you have an old guy, a young guy, but the old guy's like a neighbor, you know, like Rancherito kind of thing. But um, but you know, the great thing about the script is like every 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 time we polish it or go through it, you know, we find it's like a flower that just keeps opening up and find more depth to the to the characters and everything. So it's, it's an ensemble piece, and but yeah, definitely centered around the grandfather, and grandson. But it's pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay. Our second question is: They want to know a little bit about Uncle Frank's character and some background of the actor portraying him. Frank, a.k.a. Frankie the Butcher, is also a chef and had his own show. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so okay, so the story behind uh, Uncle Frank uh, in the movie is that, so the grandfather's a harbor pilot, his father was a harbor pilot, and harbor pilot's job is, is uh, when, the big ship, when the big ships come into New York Harbor, uh, the, the pilots board the ship and they navigate them to the, the, the harbor. And uh, so it's a very important job, and um, so the it's sort of been a family legacy, and so like Uncle Frank uh, was born in Colorado, so couldn't necessarily he couldn't join the Harbor Pilot uh, Association and be a Harbor Pilot. So um, so the, the grandfather in the story is, is you know he, he never, you know for years just never really got over that, and so and then Uncle Frank was sort of just you know, kind of hurt by that. Um, but, uh, so that's why, that's where David comes in and try to, tries to bring them together for Christmas. But uh, Frankie, uh, we, shot the, we shot a short in the trailer, and uh, so uh, I found Frankie the Butcher, Frank Vincent, uh, that set up uh, Spider-Man, he, uh, he was our teamster. And, uh, you know, I, I told him about Howard Boulevard, he was like, yeah, I'm an actor. I'm like, really? Um, so, you know, I looked him up and I checked out his, his, uh, his scenes and I was, I was pretty, pretty impressed, not only by his acting skills, but also kind of looks like a uh, uh, boy. <laughs> but uh, and uh, but it was, it plays, his person that plays a part of this role. But um, so Frank came in, and and, and uh, for the short, we, we shot the scene on, on, on the sailboat, and uh, and uh, he just he was like, "Do you mind if I just bring some of my own stuff because I I, I got my own thing going on with my father." All right, you know, bring it. And he brought it, and uh, so that's that's Frankie the Butcher. Okay, excellent. Our other question is, how did the director find Frank? Which you just <laughs> answered that. Yes, yes. Okay. Our other question is, where are the locations for Hart Boulevard? Now we know predominantly it's Staten Island, but have you guys shot any scenes outside of the borough? Yes. So uh, we shot the sailboat scene um, in uh, the Long Island Sound. 
actually uh, kind of near City Island. Uh, we shot uh, some stuff in Queens, and uh, and we did a big montage of David and the girlfriend getting on the Staten Island ferry, going to Manhattan, and uh, and uh, playing chess and doing all this cool stuff. Um, and then we shot some uh, some stuff at the actual house uh, on Park Boulevard. Um, but uh, for the feature, we're trying to really uh, get some help to, to find some more locations here because. You know, it's, it's a lot easier to keep it in one borough than being all spread out. So. Now, Hart Boulevard is in the town of Randall Manor in Staten Island? Correct, yes. Uh, it's near New West Brighton. Okay. Now, when and where is the fundraiser for Hart Boulevard? Well, hopefully, uh, it's, it's here. No, it's going to be here at the New York City Art Cipher uh, sometime in July. And so we'll have some more information on, on the website on www.hartboulevard. Excellent. So don't forget, check out that website, see this fundraisers app. Now, how can people find out more information on Hart Boulevard besides your website? Is there any other outlets? Uh, well, it's word of mouth. No. Uh, Facebook uh, is a big thing. Uh, Twitter and uh, just mass email. Just uh, I, I will be going out there pretty soon. I'll work on the, some sort of... Uh, marketing thing to go to the streets of Staten Island with some t-shirts and whatever, just be like, this is my bullet you know, this is about this, you know, you know, especially in that, in that neighborhood where it takes place. And so hopefully the buzz will get around. Our last question is, do you have any other projects that you want to do in Staten Island in the near future? I actually do. Um, <coughs> I think after I, I wrap this up, I'm going to take a couple weeks off, but I do have I do have two other projects that I want to keep here. Uh, this is my second script, my first script uh, I optioned with a, this uh, Hollywood icon producer who's also a mentor of mine. But um, uh, but the, yes, I do have two more projects I'd like to do. So uh, we'll see what happens with Boulevard. Now, regarding Mark Boulevard, uh, do you have any expectations entering into any of the film festivals, such as the Soho Film Festival, Tribeca, Sundance, Cannes? I, I, I expect, uh, I don't like to have, to have expectations, but I, I imagine that people, a lot of people, I mean, just from people reading the script, you know, everybody can sort of relate to it because it's a family story. So I imagine that people will sort of, you know, react to it in a, you know, in a positive way, you know, I mean, it's an independent film, and, and the, Scott Beardsley, uh, our DP, did an amazing job. He did Mom Wise as well. But uh, sort of, it sort of has that gritty feel to it. It's not a documentary, but you feel like you're there and like you're a part of the story. So I feel like it's definitely festival material. So it's, you know, it's something I expect is, is people just at least enjoy the movie. So. When is the slated world premiere date for Hart Boulevard? Hopefully next year. Next year around this time, in April, spring of next year? Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's going to take a little bit to, uh, to, you know, to wrap everything up post. So maybe, it's, it's tough because it, it's a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to figure that one out. Because like my grandfather said, you know, you know, you know the product is 10% of it, but the marketing is 9%. So, you know, it's, it's a great story, but, you know, we have to be really, you know, you know precise about when we're going to release it. And who's going to release it? What's going to happen at the festivals? So, but you know, just doing step by step. What message do you want to convey to the viewers? Is there a specific message that, when you know, individuals watch Hart Boulevard, that when they leave the theater, they're like, "Hey, yeah." Yeah, I think, uh, <clears throat> I think the message I want to to convey, or to people, to really magnetized to is uh, that you know family is the most important thing you know there may be some family members who you're like what's this guy doing you know uh, but don't waste your life or days or months or years and let that go to waste over something that you know that could be resolved or you know just family comes first try to figure out what's going on spend time with your family be there for Christmas you know I know it's easy to get sidetracked but you know my grandfather, you know, at 90, you know, spent a lot of time sort of just really thinking about the past. And so, you know, it was tough to watch, but uh, so definitely just try to 
figure out what, what's going on with your family because that's the most, most important thing. So. Since it's primarily a family movie, I'm presuming that you will be reaching a very broader audience considering it's a family movie. Yeah, um, you know, I'm thinking PG-13, but I, you know, parents, kids, girlfriends, boyfriends, uh, grandparents, you know, and, and we, uh, we just uh, got Ed Asner for the feature from the movie Up. So, you know, so people who will be familiar with him will be, you know, a bit older and, you know, we have choreographic culture from the new world, so it helps the, the younger generation, um, you know, and uh, but also, that's yes, another, another thing, you know, the cast, we have a great cast, uh, Kyle, Kyle Valley, um, I found him through uh, a friend of mine, Eric, who's actually the godfather to my daughter, but uh, that's Eric's cousin, and I uh, sent him the script, and uh, but he came over and just nailed it, and he's just been terrific the whole time, and uh, um, so, yeah, so we have a great cast. And, what filmmakers inspire you? Um, it's uh, you know I, the way I, the way I remember movies is, is experiences and you know what that was. And so like E. T. My dad drove up from Virginia and he stayed in this hotel in Staten Island and, and we went to I remember going to see E. T. and then going to McDonald's afterwards to get the E. T. doll so Spielberg. Um, uh, you know, Orson Welles, uh, uh, you know, and then you have some directors who just do one or two movies and do a great job, you know. Uh, 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 you know, is another one, and, uh, and the list goes on. Sorry, I'm trying to flank, but yeah. I can tell you a lot of movies. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, John McTiernan, I mean, you know, uh, and Philip Lewis, which is some other directors. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for this interview. It was very informative. Thank you. And so everyone, check out www.heart Boulevard and please support Heart Boulevard. Indie Films, Staten Island, New York. This is Renee Wood with Andrew Grief. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Okay, that was 17 minutes. So we're going to put him on for like, like eight. That's great. <laughs> First interview. Don't worry about it. Renee will take care of everything. <laughs>